Hello, welcome back. I'm Thomas Boucher, and in this video, we'll take a look at making some sand cores for brass casting. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, you've probably seen me casting some pieces for one of these brass doorknobs a while back. And I want to cast some more of them, uh, but I want to try something different. If you notice in this one, it's got a square hole that goes through this um, shaft here. And when I cast these, I cast this as a solid piece. And I drilled that hole through and then filed it square. And that took me a really long time. So something I want to try out doing on this one is going to be making a sand core so that when I cast this piece, it will be hollow with that square uh, hole through it. I found a tutorial on YouTube, which I'll link up here, that I found really helpful. And you want to use some fine sand and some sodium silicate, and you mix them together to a certain ratio, and you pack them into your mold, and you harden that um, sand core using CO2. And a lot of people use things like a little bottle of CO2, or possibly I think like little um, 22 cartridges. But this video shows you how you can do it with vinegar and baking soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Um, and hopefully it works out. This is all an experiment, but I'm really curious as to how this will go. Luckily, I've got a bunch of sand on the floor still from filling in between the bricks and everything. So what I did today, I bought um, a garden hose adapter and I've electrical taped it onto the end of a, a seltzer plastic bottle. And it's got a really, really fine screen mesh, which is why I bought it. It is the quickest thing I could find. And so I'm just using this like a funnel. I'm just pouring some sand into it like this. And then if I just kind of shake it like a salt and pepper shaker, it's just getting the really, really fine grains of sand into my bowl here. So this is gonna be the sand that I use for um, making my uh, sand core. And I think I've got enough here, I'm not really sure. So what I'm going to do is fill up the mold that I have with this sand and then I need to um, measure the weight of it so I can get the ratio of how much sand plus actually add a little bit of extra sand because once you start compressing it I need to make up that difference plus the sodium silicate. So I think this is gonna be pretty simple. I'm basically just making a one and a half inch piece of quarter inch square. And so I've got my mold here. I've got two pieces of wood that I cut basically like an L. And uh, the L's come together and they make a basically a quarter inch square void. So I'm gonna fill that void up with some sand. And then I'll be able to measure it. I've got a little scale here. I'll be able to measure the grams and uh, figure out how much I've got in there. So if I can, probably need to get a paper funnel. So I've got a piece of paper here, I think this will make it a little bit easier. Pour some of the sand here into my mold. So, got my scale zeroed out. I need to That is not much. That looks like one gram. That is not much. All right. So, I believe I'm supposed to add about 11% is not gonna be much. So, hmm, it's gonna be tough. I need to figure out how to add a tenth of one gram on a scale that doesn't show me much. That's probably more than enough. And now I'm supposed to add 
3% of this, which doesn't seem like much. I don't know how I'm supposed to add that. That's probably more than enough. Just needs how small this is. Alright. Mix that up. It'd be pretty cool if this works. Um, I mean, the process should work, it's just if I have the ratios and then the um, CO2 system that I'm going to use here. It'd be really interesting. Alright, so I've got a piece of quarter inch square steel, uh, which kind of helped me to gauge the distance in my um, mold, but I'm also going to use it to pack in the sand here. So let's see if I can get this in here. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny piece of wire in here to strengthen it because this is um, pretty thin and just to kind of help give it a little bit of strength I'll put a little piece of wire Piece of wire about an inch and a half or so inch long all right so I just got that in the next thing I need to try doing is uh, my CO2 system here. Now I have no idea how much baking soda and vinegar I need to put in this thing. So that's all going to be guesswork. But the way this system works is I've got a mason jar here and I've got like a, a hose attachment. I should recall these exactly. Um, I punched a hole through the lid of the mason jar. I used a little rubber washer and then a metal washer. Uh, and then I've got this half inch hose that comes up through the stage here as a hole and I've got this gasket to try to keep the air in there as best I can. So I'm going to put some vinegar in the jar and then I'll have baking soda in a little cup and then when I'm ready I'll tip it and that should create CO2 which will come up here and hopefully pump up through uh, my mold here. And the CO2 I guess hardens the sodium silicate so hopefully this core will be Solid. So that's that's the idea. We'll see how it works. Like I said, I don't know how much I need of the vinegar and the baking soda. So this should be an interesting test. So let's try that out. Um, I need to get another cup, I think. Now it's my understanding that because CO2 is what makes this get hard. You could in theory just let that sit for a couple days and it would harden up, but in order to run through a whole bunch of these like I'm hoping to do, batch out eight of them, 10 of them or so, uh, the CO2 just does it really quick uh, with something like this, or like I said, a CO2 bottle. All right, so. Said, this is all guesswork right now. I really have no idea how much of this I want to use. I don't even know if it really matters too much. Because really all I'm going for is um, making sure I get some CO2. Get that over that as best I can. Got my vinegar in here. 
Placing my cup of baking soda in, hopefully it doesn't tip over. I need to put my vacuum lid on. And I believe if I just tip this over and create CO2, hopefully it's not leaking out too much. Could feel a little bit of a leak. Hopefully the majority of that air pumped up through my mold here. I did feel a little bit of a leak. Um, I suppose this might go better if I soldered this hose clamp on, but that's probably good enough. We'll see, I'm not sure. Seems like all of that mix. I guess we'll take it apart and find out if it's hard or not. That's stuck pretty good. I don't want to break it taking it off here. Oh, that's really stuck on there. Uh, I think it just broke on me. Well, it might be good enough. So I've got this tiny little sand core. It may have cracked a tiny, tiny bit, but it may still work. Like I said, I think if I let this sit out, it's just gonna keep getting harder, so maybe it worked. I wonder if I need some sort of like mold release. But anyways, there's one. Um, I'm gonna keep playing around and see if I get to go better. making 10 of these cores. I need about eight, I believe, for what I need to cast. So that gives me two extra, and hopefully that's gonna be enough. Now again, this is an experiment for me. Other people seem to have done this with some success, um, but we'll see how this goes. If I did it enough, they feel pretty hard, um, but I don't know if when I actually pour the brass that if they're gonna stay together or not. Um, and the nice thing about the sand casting and just that tiny piece of wire is, once I cast the piece, it should easily knock out. Now on the first one that I tried making, I was trying to measure stuff because that's what the YouTube video I had watched had said to do. But I'm making a really small core compared to what he was doing. So I found it easier to end up just kind of eyeballing stuff and that seemed to work really good. I only had one core that I think I put too much of the sodium silicate and it was really liquidy. And when I pulled the two halves of the mold apart, um, it just kind of half came with one mold, half went off on the other, and you could tell that it was a lot gooier than the other ones. So I knew after that to kind of dial it back to kind of how I was doing on the first couple. And that seemed to go pretty well. Um, one of these, it's a little more cracked on the ends and stuff, but I made these longer than what I actually need them to be, so I think it's still gonna be okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel so you can follow along with all the projects I'm doing and stay up to date with stuff. Um, hopefully in the next video I will be trying some brass casting to see if these things actually work. So if you're curious to see how they do, again subscribe to my channel, look for the next video when it comes out. And as always you can check out the links in the description below so you can head over to my Instagram, follow me there, and that'll keep you a little bit more up to date on what I'm currently working on. You can also go to my website and pick up some merch and help support me in the work that I'm doing. Thanks again for watching, bye!